Okay, number two, we're gonna be doing the same thing. We're still combining a dart. We are not making a French dart though. We're just going to combine two darts into one central location, dart. And we're gonna use the pivot method, not the slash method. This means we're combining the darts and tracing the sloper at the same time. So don't trace the whole sloper yet. This is, that's okay, save it for number three because number three will be a slash. Just put that aside and start over. Um, this is where we're gonna use the common pivot point. And this is where it's really handy to have your owl have poked a hole in your sloper so you can get your pencil lead in there really nice so that your sloper can turn and move and do what you need to do. Um, when we're doing pivot method, where we start and where we stop matters, okay? So we are gonna start at the beginning of the fold line of the first dart, and we're gonna go this direction. So we're gonna start at the fold line, and we're gonna trace across to the center front. We're not gonna draw on the sloper. We're gonna go down the center front, we're gonna mark a hip line, However long our hemline is gonna be, we're gonna trace across the bottom. I'm shortening mine for paper, so I'll fill that in after. I'm gonna trace up the out seam, mark my hip line, trace up to the top and I'm back at the waistline. I'm gonna trace across to the full, to the opening of the dart closest to the out seam. Okay, so I'm not tracing anything in here in the middle. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna put my pencil in the common pivot point. Can you see how I drew these two lines right here? I drew those because I'm gonna close one of these darts by pivoting and I need to be able to line up the vertical line with the edge of the dart where it was, but I'm actually closing this one on the out seam. I'm not closing the center one. So I need this line right here to match up with where this dart should end, okay? So I'm gonna put my pencil in the pivot. I'm gonna pivot my pattern until this vertical line matches that line. And then I'm gonna trace the other half of this, make another tick mark, make sure my common pivot point is marked and I'm gonna take that off. I have a ruler here somewhere. I'm just gonna draw my hemline on really quick. So you can see it's a complete shape. Okay, now I've got my hip line. I'm gonna put my hip line on there cause that's not moving regardless of what I do. I am going to find the center of this dart opening. So if I use my ruler and measure it's about one inch, so I'm just gonna make a little mark halfway, A junior, whatever. I am gonna draw a line through the common pivot line, but it needs to stay parallel to the hip line. Does that make sense? So parallel to the hip line, but it's gonna come in and stop at that common pivot. And then we're gonna come down perpendicularly from this center of the dart opening. Might extend beyond the common pivot, depends on how your darts sit. This is not exactly like the book because I used a back sloper instead of a front sloper. So my darts are at staggered heights, so my common pivot point was in a different spot. But the theory from front to back is the same, okay? Would you want just two darts in the back instead of four? It's gonna fulfill the same purpose. It's just gonna give you one style line on a glute muscle instead of two style lines on a glute muscle. So that's designer preference, okay? I need to know where that dart is where the pivot point is gonna be, which is gonna be right at that right angle. I would put my circle on here first. 
so I know where my dart needs to stop. These two openings are now the opening of my dart. So I take my ruler, follow that guideline down to where the circle stops. Follow this guideline down to where the circle stops. That becomes my new dart. Now which one's going to be my fold line? Which one's going to be my not fold line? Is it a vertical, vertical dart? Is it sitting perpendicular to the floor? Then which way are we going to fold the extra? Okay. Which one's my center? This side or this side? This side. And I'm working on a back. So this is my center back. You could do center front. Depends on what you want. Okay. So this is going to be my fold line. Which means I'm going to take this dart and I'm going to fold it this way. So that my extra back here is folded towards the center. I would true up my waistline from corner to corner, making sure we treat it as one cohesive whole. Seam allowance the piece and label. Now, my aesthetic in the book has the two dart lines. It matches this aesthetic in the book right here. Is that what I just accomplished? This is a front. I did a back. So how is my style lines or my aesthetic going to be different than this? Or is it? This is a front. This is a back. So how would my aesthetic in my glossary be similar or dissimilar to this? Could it be exactly the same? It could. How am I going to get in this skirt? Where? I could put in a side seam egress, which means my aesthetic stays the same. What happens if I want a center back egress? Then seam line with a zipper. What would be the advantage to doing this? Kick pleat. Can you do it without a kick pleat in the side? What if you put side slits? What if you put a totally separating egress down the front with buttons? Okay, you can see how your aesthetic can be a totally different deal than Natasha's or Chad's or Jen's or Brooks or mine. Just as long as your aesthetic in the book, in your book, your glossary matches your pattern piece. Okay. So because the aesthetic in my glossary book does look like the front, it does look like that picture in the book. I am going to put this on a center fold, which means my grain line is going parallel to the center back. This is going to be on a fold. I'm not going to have a seam down the back. I'll put in some kind of egress over here on the side, but we're not worried about constructing the waistband and the egress at this point. Just like I'm not worried about kicking out a kick pleat. I know what that would look like in my head. What would need to be done to this piece? I shortened it, so it's mid-thigh. I don't need a kick pleat. My legs will spread anyway. Okay? Fold your dart, seam allowance it, label it. You're done.